Hi guys, many times you may have come across a term called BLE, which stands for Bluetooth Low Energy, and it is basically a highly optimized version of Bluetooth, as we know that ESP32 comes with inbuilt BLE capabilities, and there are other BLE modules are also available for Arduino boards such as HM10. But what if I tell you that there is one more module in the market which can be used as BLE module and it is way cheaper than HM10 or ESP32. Yes, we are talking about an RF24LO1 RF module which can be used as a BLE module. So today in this video we will learn how to use a NRF as a BLE module with Arduino. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. Hi guys, this video is sponsored by PCBGoGo.com, a manufacturer of professional PCB boards. They provide PCB fabrication and PCB assembly service. And they have even option of flex or rigid PCBs as well. You can even order SMD stencils from them. And they have many types of PCB service and assembly service. So order your PCBs from PCBGoGo.com. The link will be in description as usual. So guys, recently I came to know that NRF has BLE capabilities. So I thought that we should give this a try, right? So here we are. So before we proceed further, make sure you have an Arduino board and a NRF24 LO1 RF module and a few jumper wires. And if it is not the case, please refer the links provided in description and get these things first. So when I started with this BLE module, the first thing came in mind is that what is BLE? So as we all know that BLE stands for Bluetooth Low Energy and it is a smaller and highly optimized version of classic Bluetooth. We can call it as a smart Bluetooth. The BLE was designed keeping in mind the lowest possible power consumption specifically for low cost, low bandwidth, low power and low complexity. The BLE devices can run for extended period of time using just a coin cell. And to use the BLE capabilities with microcontrollers, we need modules like HM10. But in our case, we will use a cheaper alternative NRF24 LO1. So let's go to PC to set up Arduino to use this module. So in order to proceed, make sure you have Arduino IDE installed in your PC. And if it is not the case, please do that right away. And after that, open the Arduino IDE, then go to the library section of Arduino. And in order to use NRF's BLE capabilities, we need two libraries. The first one is RF24 library for NRF module. So install this library and then the second library for BLE is BTLE. So install this library in your Arduino IDE as well. So after installing the libraries, you can go to the example then BTLE and you can see three examples there. Send, receive and temperature. Open the send example. So before we proceed further, let's talk about the circuit part. So please refer the shown NRF24 LO1 and Arduino connections and connect everything accordingly. And after connections, go to your smartphone and install NRF Connect for mobile app to read NRF data over BLE on our smartphone. Then let's upload this example to Arduino board. So we uploaded the code and we should be able to see a BLE device named as FUBAR. So let's go to the NRF Connect mobile app and here in a scanner section if I refresh it, 
we can see a device named foobar but wait why this device is not sending any data that's because we are not sending any data in the code so to send the data we need to advertise the data using this btle.advertise command and we need to put our data inside of these brackets but how and that brings us to our next topic to add a data we need a variable named as buff of the type nrf service data and this variable can store two things the first is uuid which is universal unique identifier used to identify information in computer systems and the other thing it can store is a float type data so by default this library can support three types of uuids and they all have their purpose and nrf device information service uuid which is used to advertise device information then nrf temperature service uuid which is used to advertise temperature then nrf battery service uuid which is used to advertise battery percentage and in this send code we will use all of these three types so these three types of data can be advertised over ble with this btle library by default but that does not mean you cannot create your own type of uuid and advertise the data but that's a different topic for a different day so in loop let's create a buff variable of nrf service data type then we need to set the uuid type of the advertisement so let's copy all these three and first we will try nrf device information service uuid so let's comment out the other two then we need a float data so i created a float temp variable and we need to store the data of temp variable into the value variable of buff but it has to be a nrf float type not normal arduino float so this command will help us to convert it to nrf float and then store it in value variable of buff now we need to put the advertise command here which contains the type of data buff and size of buff and let's upload this code to arduino board and then let's refresh our app so here we can see our foobar ble device and in service data part we can see uuid of our device which is 0x180a corresponds to nrf device information service uuid and the data we sent inside temp is shown in data but since the data is encoded so we cannot use it right away so let's try the next uuid and that is nrf temperature service uuid so let's uncomment this one and comment out the remaining and let's say we want to send temperature as 30 degree celsius so in temp for now i'll put 30 value and let's upload this code now let's refresh our app so as you can see we got the temperature icon here and we can see the temperature as 30 degree celsius so similarly instead of sending a fixed temperature value we can attach a temperature sensor and then we can send the real time temperature data to our smartphone so if you want to see that let me know in the comment section now let's comment this one as well and uncomment the nrf battery service uuid so before you upload the code let's change the float temp variable value to 0.5 because it takes maximum value as 1 which means 100% battery so since we are sending 0.5 which means it should display it as 50% so let's upload this code now let's refresh the app again and here we can see the battery percentage is shown as 50% so that concludes our sending or advertising data part of this ble Now let's try this receiver code of BLE. So what this code does is that it listens and receives all the data packets that are available near it. 
and it will print it on the serial monitor. So let's upload this code to Arduino. Now let's go to the app and then in advertise section let's create a advertise. So give it a name. So let's say I give it as BLE test. Then click on add record and choose what you want to send. Say I just want to advertise my device name. So I will choose complete local name. And which is as you can see one plus seven. So after that I will hit OK and our advertisement is ready. Now let's turn it on. So it's on now. Now let's open the serial monitor and as you can see we are receiving our device name. But this is not in readable format. And we cannot read this data because it is in hex format. So we need to convert this to corrector format. And to do that we just need to remove the hex part and we need to typecast it into the care format. And now let's upload the code again. And see, we are receiving my complete Bluetooth name of my mobile on our serial monitor. And similarly we can use it to transmit more data. And we can use it to control any type of device by sending data. For example, lighting up a LED. But that's another topic for another video. So in my upcoming video we will use a thermistor to read temperature data and we will advertise it with the help of our NRF module over BLE to our smartphone. So if you want to watch that video very early let me know in the comment section. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you do hit like give me a share. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video of mine. Till then keep exploring.